Hello viewers, hello listeners, hello everyone. Thank you once again for joining me on DMAP TV. Please don't forget to subscribe if you are coming here for the first time. Very regular, just with the usual. Please like and comment and also share our videos so that you won't miss any of the videos that we do here. Because what we do is we give you current affairs in real time. So yes, yesterday we posted a video. I've got a communication from the government, from Nick Mangbana and others that Sadak ambassadors had come and they had congratulated President Emerson Munangagwa and the people of Zimbabwe for running a free, fair, credible and transparent election. Of course, we, got, we had the video from the Angolian ambassador who also emphasized and reiterated that Zimbabwe's election was free and fair. But this communication from our sources within the SADC is confirmed that the SADC secretariat questioned the ambassador of Angola regarding his statement on 2023 disputed elections. Yes, of course, ladies and gentlemen, we saw, we all saw the, 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 the SADC uh, observer mission report and how it discredited the Zimbabwean polls as shame. And it was surprising uh, to every, to each and every Zimbabwean on how there could be such a quick turn on how they perceived the election so this seems as if all this was a planned a move was a planned gesture to just sanitize what zimbabwe is done just imagine or just think about it ladies and gentlemen to what from where does these ambassadors these nine ambassadors from just from different countries from where do they derive the power to go against what the sadic elders against what the sadic leaders are saying so it the, the source also said that the president of angola has also terminated the office of this ambassador or he is going to terminate the office of the ambassador because he misrepresented he seemed as if he is representing the the, the, the whole of sadic but he acted on his own in uh, in tandem with those ambassadors that he was with but just imagine ladies and gentlemen it was reported uh, less than a week ago that uh, the president emerson Mnangagwa, he had been given an ultimatum to resolve the political crisis in zimbabwe and all of a sudden we hear that they had changed uh, the, the the mission and they had congratulated president Mnangagwa. so according to this source the sadek secretary is going to release a statement apologizing to the people of Zimbabwe regarding what was said by the Angolian ambassador to Zimbabweans yesterday. While well, Sadiq heads of states are busy to put an end to disputed elections by the way by the putting of a transitional authority body which will run the country until the other election is uh, is conducted. So at the moment, moment according to to, to, to Sadiq, we do not have an, uh, a legitimate president in Zimbabwe. So it boggles the mind of how these ambassadors uh, proceeded in terms of this matter. And the publication, the other uh, communication is that uh, the Angolian ambassador to Zimbabwe was offside. The Angolian ambassador to Zimbabwe, His Excellency Agostino Tafaris, was questioned Again, is speaking on behalf of Sadiq after he paid a car score on President Emerson Nangagwa yesterday. The Sadiq Secretariat reportedly contacted the Sadiq Chairman and President of Angola, Joao Lorenzo, about the incident in Harare with Ambassador Tavares. The Sadiq Secretariat believes what the Angolian Ambassador Tavares said in Harare represented his office as Ambassador of Angola to Zimbabwe and not of the regional block Sadak. Plainly put, the sources said Ambassador Tavares is the representative of Angola in Zimbabwe and not Sadak. Analysts say within Sadak there are other dictatorships who know their time is up and will do everything they can to discourage this effort by the regional block Sadak in the democratization of the regional block. So Sadak as a whole cannot be represented by ambassadors. So what really happened according to some publications is just a propaganda to say sadak sanitized the elections
we have we ever heard of the team Sadak ambassadors ladies and gentlemen anokonika nimfaro dinwenyu honorable madiva